going back to prison then, I mean, that's a lot of time you've done. And people with status, it could go two ways. They've got the respect, they fit in, you know, and beefs don't arise because of that respect. Or people think, all right, he's well known as a hard man. If I take him down, I'm going to have a bigger name than him. During your journey through the prison system, where were you with, with all that stuff? I was neutral, me, to be honest. I didn't control no prison wings. If I landed in a prison, I'd have me following. And it'd become a bit of a security issue, so I'd be transferred because the following was a bit big. But I've never had people come to me and try and cut me face. I've never had people try and attack me in that way. I've been assaulted years ago, early days. I've been, um, I was in strange ways. I'm sitting down getting my hair cut. There's this kid in there called Marcus Orcock. Um, his, he's padded up to these kids. And the lad in this cell is bullying Marcus's pad mate through the window. Marcus isn't happy. He's had an argument with him. They've had a little scrap. It's mellowed down. We've had to go in on them. We went in on two of them. Me and Marcus went in on two of them, warned them, still told them how it was. This is strange ways. That afternoon, Marcus has gone on a visit. I'm sat down, getting my hair cut, and he attacked me with pool balls. Get me on the back of the head here. I'm sat down, they come up behind me, pool ball in a sock, round the back of my head. I take it, stand up. I'm a bit dizzy. Throw me, throw me mirror at them while I'm looking at my hair. Throw me mirror at them. Chase them down. They all just go into cells. And that's, that's one incident. That's it. It's the only incident where I've been attacked in, in my whole jail. Jesus, wow. Yeah. So you must be adept then at navigating the system. Yeah, I've I've, I've, I've born. I, I was 13 years then put into a system and I only left it when I was 36, mate. So I know everything. So outside of that then, what's the most horrific things you've seen in prison happen to other people? I've seen um, a Dutch pot full of oil poured over someone's head. What? That's probably the most graphic because the, the minute he went like that, his skin just fell off his face and then he went onto the floor like into some sort of shock thing. He survived, but he was lucky to survive and when he did survive, he had a disfigurement. Were there situations where people you liked or were associated with or you'd made friends with ships with in prison, you had to intervene to, pre to prevent yeah. them? Have you got any stories that you could tell us? Um, I've protected a lot of kids. I've stopped a lot of lads from Liverpool you fuck, you fucking know it. I've stopped a lot of kids getting hurt in the system. I can't really give no examples because I've never, I've never attacked no one for someone. If that's what you mean, I've never like. No, I mean like the background of the story. Why were they getting sweated? It's what's going on outside. They're coming inside and the beefs, you know. So you've got two groups outside. They're beefing with each other outside. Next minute, they shoot one of them. And he goes in jail. He's in jail for five years. All of a sudden. One of his boys gets shot, and that kid is in jail. So this kid who's already established in jail for two years is now looking to arm this kid who's only been on the wing for two weeks, who's not established. This kid's got a network on the wing, all his little mates who he can give dough to. This kid hasn't. So the minute this kid lands on the wing, this kid's got dough, he's been getting swag over the wall, he's got a little bit of pull, go and cut in. A little bit of spice, go and cut in. So I'd, I've been in that, that situation where I went, whoa, Anything happens to him, then you're getting dealt with. You don't, you know, don't go near him. That's happened a few times, but that's, that's, that's it. 